there. Today we're going to be learning about inches, feet, and yards. Here I have a standard ruler. Across the top we can see the big numbers are showing us our inches. It's kind of tricky to tell the difference when you're looking on a computer because those are not actually the correct size. So I have some hints for you today. If we're asking you to measure in an inch, you can think about a large glue stick cap. A large glue stick cap is about an inch. So I can use my ruler to show you. On this ruler, you can see that there's a line. That's where I want to start, not at the end of the ruler. And I can see there's the one that's showing me that my glue stick is about one inch. So when I ask you today, what, when I ask you today, if you would measure the item in inches, I want you to think, would you use multiple glue stick caps to measure that item in real life? That's going to be our tricky part because we are looking at a computer picture. So think in real life, if I'm measuring in inches, I could be using the large glue stick caps. Now, we're going to look at a foot. This whole ruler, or 12 inches, is one foot. One foot is about the size of a piece of construction paper. When we turn it this way, it is called landscape. So we can see that it's about the size of my whole ruler, and that is one foot. Today, if I ask you if we would measure the item in feet, I'm not talking about your toes. I want you to think about, would you need multiple pieces of construction paper to measure your item? Next is a tricky one to show. It's the yard. So I'm going to use my tape measure here to show you what it would look like. Again, because we're on the computer, this is kind of tricky and it's going to take longer than I have my camera. It's going to keep growing and we're going to grow all the way to 36 inches. That makes one yard. So let's see that again. I'm gonna bring it through my camera. That whole thing there would be 36 inches, that would be a yard. So if I'm asking you if we would need to measure that in yards, I want you to think about an adult-sized umbrella. An adult-sized umbrella is about the size of a yard. So we're going to get some practice in. When you see the pictures, remember I want you to think about the real thing, not the picture on the computer screen. If you're going to be measuring in yards, think about that umbrella. If you think you're going to be using multiple feet, think about would I need multiple pieces of paper to measure. If it's in inches, think, would I need multiple glue stick caps to measure that item? Okay, go ahead and give it a try.